Oh my gosh. The day has come. I have not seen these yet, but according to staff, we have something very exciting happening in the false water cobra egg bin. And I see a lot of condensation on there. <sighs> Where do I put them? I put them over here. I'm gonna just crack this open. And let's see if it's true. False water cobras. Oh my gosh, they are pipping. Let me just turn this around. This was our Looney Tunes clutch. And as you can see, a couple of the eggs went bad, but for the most part, they looked good. And oh, I bet there's a baby in there. Oh my goodness, can I peek? Can I look? I don't see any faces yet. Oh, there's movement. And I'm assuming that's a baby false water cobra because these were laid in the false water cobra eggs. So what else could they be? But we're gonna give them a day to start pipping. And then I guess we'll cut open the rest of the eggs to help them out. I need to peek on these babies again. And I think I'm alone. I'm pretty sure I'm alone in here, so no one will see me geeking out over these babies. <gasps> False water cobras, have you pipped yet? No, you have not. I'm gonna peek. I'm gonna, I'm gonna peek at you. Okay, it's been a little while. Oh my gosh. False water cobras. Okay, who's, who's all hatching? Oh, the Martian. Ed's here too, by the way. Yeah. Oh, is that a nose? I don't know. I think that's part of a yolk. Oh, oh you think? Yeah. I wasn't sure if it was a nose or, oh yeah, it's a yolk. Okay. Yolk. I have yet to see a baby false water cobra. I've only seen slits I in see, eggs. I see a baby belly or you, a baby side. Really? You can see, I can't even see you it. I see stripes, okay. kind of. Okay, let me grab you a light so you can I see I think your phone. we'll have to cut this one and that one cut. And I think we'll have to cut that okay. one and that one. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I do see a baby in there now. Oh my goodness. He's good. Oh yes. yeah, he's moving. Oh, he's moving. Yes. Okay, let's cut the remaining eggs. Oh wait, one more sneak peek. Looney Tunes. Oh, can't really. Oh, there's a baby. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's cut these. I can't believe it. We have baby false water cobras. This has been something we've been working towards for a very long time. And I can't even see the babies when yet. When did we get Roger? They're still hiding in their eggs. We got Roger. 2016? 2017? Uh, I think 2015. 2015? We've had him for a wow. long, he was one of the original snakes that we had. That's right, I remember finding a Craigslist post He was on Craigslist, yeah. We'll tell you Roger's story maybe at the end of this yeah, video and how end. we got him. So it was kind of funny, it was a Craigslist find. But for now, let's look at babies! And actually we got Roger as a baby, so it's kind of neat yeah. we raised him well, up. Well, a yearling. Uh, yeah, yeah, he was still pretty, yeah, he wasn't this small though. No. Oh, they have really calcified eggs. That's, That's good, means mom's doing her job. That's right, yeah. Okay. Right through Tweety Bird's face. Okay, we're gonna. Oh, you're passing over Tweety Bird. Kill her. Oh, there goes brain Tweety Bird. surgery. <laughs> Tweety Bird had a lobotomy today. Let's open up the flap. Was there a baby inside in three, two, one? <gasps> there yeah. is! That's a belly! Oh, 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 oh. oh yep, we're uh. responding! Oh my goodness! Okay, that baby looks good. I have yet to see a face. Okay, we've got Daffy Duck. So they're like thicker bull snake eggs, it looks like. Yeah, it, they, you're right. They're I wonder if this like... is what indigo snake eggs would look like. Ooh, I wonder. I have no idea. Hopefully we can find out someday. Yeah, hopefully this year. That would be really cool. Okay, Daffy Duck, do you have a baby? Three, two, one. Oh. That's some cloudy stuff in there. Cloudy goop, that's I not a I good sign. I think I see something off camera, but. Uh, yeah, I see something in there yeah. down here. Can I, are you gonna move? I've seen worse. I can't really tell, so we'll yeah. see. Okay, then do you Roadrunner. Wanna, do you poke those two that are pipped to make sure that they're okay? Like poke this one? You think? I guess we could do that, yeah. yeah. I mean, if they've pipped, then I assume, oh yeah, we're moving in the oh, egg. All right. Oh my gosh, is that what false water covers do? Do you guys just move around in the egg? Oh my gosh, look at, look at, he's totally Aww. moving all around. Wait, is there a face yet? I do not see a face yet. I still only see belly. Oh my gosh. Look at you, does this tickle? Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle. Oh, <laughs> look at the spotted belly. You're so cute. But I still do not see a face. Is there a baby? <gasps> yep, I think I see. Oh, yeah. I, think I, I see, see some stripes. Oh, maybe I did. I thought I did. Yeah, maybe I thought I did too. In. Yeah, okay. So another, I don't know. <laughs> uh, how about Sylvester? Three, two, one. Hmm. That's a lot of yolk. Yeah, are you not ready to come out yet? Well, I guess we'll let you sit too. Yep. A lot of mysteries in here. Okay. I just want to see a baby's face. How about that one's road... already cutting? Yeah, Roadrunner already cut. So I'll just kind of help by making sure the hole is big enough to exit. There we go. Okay, I'm going to call that good then. You're not going to look? Do you want to? Well, yeah. Okay. Oh, just avoid. Can't uh, see anything in there anyway. Yeah. 
Okay, well, Bugs Bunny we know is good. Yep, Bugs yep. Bunny's right there. Oh, yeah. Okay, um, what's his name? Sylvester. That's, that's, no, isn't that Sylvester? That is Sylvester. That's Peppy Le Pew. Ah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I think that one, I mean, that one pipped, but again, I'm just gonna like make sure the hole is big enough. I'm gonna go on this side of you. Okay, there we go. Now we oh, have a Oh, I hole. see a baby from here. Oh, there's definitely a baby Aww. in there. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, they're all cut. So all the babies can exit. Do you want to cut these two, just in case? Oh, you want to? I guess we can. I mean, there's no point not to, I, I guess. guess, sure. Are they, I... are they squishy or are they hard? They're kind of hard. Oh, then But now they're... I'm curious here, let's just see. Does the Tasmanian devil have a baby inside? Did it develop at all? Oh, weird, Ugh. it's like red. Yeah, don't watch if uh, you- Oh yeah, squeamish warning. Weird. It looks like there was a baby starting to develop oh, you in know, there. Oh, it is totally a baby developing yeah. into the eye, right? Oh, there. weird. And then it just stopped for some reason. Interesting. Okay, well that happened to that one. It Maybe smells we wanna, yeah, we're pretty gonna pull bad that out too. And away. Yep, that's garbage. Whoo! That is very potent. <laughs> How about this one? Porky? Yeah. Wait, is his name Porky? I don't know what this one's name is. Okay, how about you? Oh! Looks like the same thing. All just solidified yolky solidified stuff. Solidified mass. Yep. We're gonna take these two and throw them away. And then we'll put the rest. Which tells me that one went bad too. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. I just don't want to cut that one up because it's like connected to the other eggs. So. I would guess even though some of these are cloudy, they're still gonna be good tomorrow. I hope so. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So out of 12 eggs, nine hopeful babies. That. We'll see. I'm, I'm very excited about this clutch. So yes. we're hoping for nine babies. Nine babies. And we'll see what happens. I just want to see a face. I want to see a baby snake. I can't believe nobody, like, okay. There's, yeah, there's no faces at all. Okay, Marvin Martian. No, nope, nope. that's a belly. No, nope, no face. No faces yet. They're, they're being secretive. Book, book, book. Come on, show me your face. Show me your face. But he doesn't wanna. Show me your face. Nope, doesn't want to show his face. We're just gonna have to wait till tomorrow. Yeah. All right, tomorrow. <gasps> there's a face. Oh my gosh, <laughs> there's a face. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, Bugs Bunny just wanted to come out and say He's hi. Like, oh, you want to see my face? Oh. Okay, here it is. Oh my gosh, hello. Oh, oh well, there he that's goes. That's all you get. That's it, that, that was our two sneak thing. peek of a face. I can't wait to see these babies. Can you imagine they're gonna hood up? Oh. Ah, okay. Hopefully well, they're not strikey. Let's come back tomorrow and see who comes out. Oh my gosh, it's happening. <laughs> it's happening, we have our first baby. Oh, I wanna see your face. You're still hiding your face with your body. Can I see? Can I, there you are. Oh my gosh, they're coming out. Wow, they're so pretty. Hi, baby false water cobra. Oh my gosh, look at those big derpy eyes. Who else wants to come out? Any other Looney Tunes want to say hi? Tweety Bird is still upside down. Okay, Bugs Bunny is still, no one else wants to come out, only you. The Lo I guess that's appropriate, it's the Looney Tunes logo. It's coming out first. Hello, friend. Oh my gosh, you are so stinking cute. Are you gonna hood up? Do you not know how to do that yet? I bet you do. Ooh. You just don't want to. Oh my goodness, look at that face. <laughs> okay, we'll come back when uh, when he has time. Oh my gosh, oh, he's coming out right oh now. My oh my gosh. Come yeah, here. Come on, buddy. <laughs> you can do it. Okay, in that case, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle. Oh my gosh. Come on. You can do it. Oh my gosh. It's just hatching right now. It's like he's trying to hood up. Yeah. But he can't. Right, can't figure it out yet. Well, hello. That's All right. so cute. That is awesome. Hatched right on camera. Our first baby. False water cobra. Okay, well, you just keep coming out. And we'll, oh, you are trying to hood up. We'll check back in in a little bit. I haven't seen them yet. You got to come in on Friday. I didn't get to come That's in. That's right. Friday. I saw when only one was out, and that was two oh. days ago. Oh they, my gosh. Oh, they're coming out. Oh my gosh. We've got so many things going on. Yeah, okay. This, this is work. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, Baby. Hello. Oh, look at him flatten. Oh my gosh, he's hooding up. Oh, look at you trying to be scary. Oh, wow. <laughs> you are so scary. Come here. Oh my gosh. They are like thick, robust babies. Yeah, they remind me of water snakes as babies. They do kind of remind me of water snakes. Yeah, exactly. Their oh. head stamps are all different too. Are they really? Yeah, like look how light his is. Oh. And then like... It's like hood stamps yeah. on these. Not even head stamps. Yeah, because this guy... The, where's my finger? He's got an A. An A right there. He's got a rocket ship. 
Yep, he does. He's got a rocket ship A. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, so maybe they're all A's and rocket they're ships. All A's and rocket ships. But uh, is everybody out? I don't think so. Okay. This Let's... one's not out. That one's out. Oh, there's still a baby in there. I don't know if it's alive. Yeah, can we poke it? Well, I don't see movement. I don't think that one's alive. Okay. Oh, I don't think this one's out. Yeah, that was an iffy one. Yeah, and this one's not out, but. Okay, but maybe I don't alive. Think I, I'll see. Should we give them another day and we'll come back? Sure. Okay. Come on out, babies. Come out of the eggs. Oh my gosh, look at you, babies. They're adorable. They are Wait, so I need cute. A cold one. You yeah. Get a cold oh, yeah, one. yeah. Wow, baby falsies. They're so cute. They're so cute. blunt. They look at are. That blunt face. Yeah, yeah. It's like they ran into a glass wall <laughs> and just squished their face in. And they, they seem so calm, too. Why are you not? Yeah, he's not even hooding up at no. me. No. Oh my yeah. goodness, they're so pretty. Wait, can, do they have that little hood pattern? Already? Oh, they do. Oh, look at the spots. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, well, we'll set them back. All right, we'll, we'll let them be, I guess. Yep, we'll come back tomorrow. Oh, oh you're trying spicy. to hood up. You're so scary. Okay, sorry. Here, here. <laughs> we'll check back tomorrow. Okay, it has been about a week since the last update, and I left him in here for a while just in moss because, well, they were having a blast, and I figured it would help with their first shed. And I wanted to wait until their first shed to show you how beautiful these are. Oh my goodness, hello! Just zoom right on out, huh? How beautiful these are after they lose that initial baby sheen. Like when snakes are first hatched, we've found that they have kind of a sheen over their colors, and sometimes they look a bit duller or darker in color like these guys did when they first hatched. But just look at how beautiful they are now that they've shed their skin. Look at those true colors come out. Who else can we find? Here's another one. Oh, look at you. Oh my goodness. Just the contrast between the blotches and that background like golden color. And just look at this gorgeous baby snake. I still can't believe we produced false water cobra babies. And their bellies are really cool too. I don't know if I've shown this in the video yet, but spots. Spots all the way down their bellies. They're so pretty, look at you. And you're not even hooding up. All right, well we are, I've actually uh, tried filming this update twice now. The first time I tried to feed all of them a frozen thawed fuzzy and none of, actually a large pinky, and none of them wanted to eat. So we're not gonna feed them in this video. I was trying to, cause I thought it'd be cool to watch them eat their first meals, but that was a no-go they said. So instead we're just gonna set them up in their baby bins. Now one thing you might notice right off the bat in these baby bins compared to the other baby bins I've put together this year is that they have huge water dishes and that is on purpose. We have a big water dish in all of these because, well, they're called false water cobras and they like the water, they live near the water, they need a water dish big enough to soak in, so we have big water dishes for them. And I love these, by the way, I think, where do we get them? I think we got them at like the dollar store or something, or Fleet Farm, I don't remember. But these are awesome because they have a little like, a cave opening right there so this counts as a hide and they will oftentimes just curl up underneath it so not only is it a great soaking dish water dish but also a great hide on the coolant so let's put these babies in oh my gosh i still can't get over you sorry i'm like totally geeking out over these babies look at your big derpy eyes oh my gosh i just i i i don't even know what to say we have baby falls water cobras so these are really an underrated species of colubrid. They get big, that's the one downfall, is they do get about, you know, seven feet, six to seven feet, but they are great snakes. Uh, they sometimes have a bit of an attitude, but if you handle them a lot from when they're babies like this age, they are, I mean, in my opinion, if snakes could be cuddly, these are one of those. Roger, their dad, before we moved to the zoo, would just chill on my lap and watch a movie with me and he would be content just sitting there for hours on end. So these are amazing snakes. They are mildly venomous. They are what we call epistoglyphous, meaning they are rear fanged. So they have enlarged teeth in the 
back of their mouth. And those large teeth help deliver a mild toxin into their prey, which subdues it. Now to humans, that means you would have to let them gnaw on you and you'd have to like wedge your skin to the back of their mouth where those teeth are in order to be affected by the venom. But as far as I'm aware, there are, there are no deaths associated with false water cobra bites. However, everybody reacts to uh, various venoms differently, like even bee sting reactions are different from, from person to person. So do your research before considering a false water cobra. Cobra. But yeah, these are just really great snakes. I love them so much. They are not a true cobra species for a couple of reasons. First, when these hood up, they can actually flatten out their entire bodies, not just the hood or the uh, the neck area like true cobras can. They also obviously are not like venomous. They're t uh, harmfully venomous like a true cobra is. And finally, another difference between these and true cobras is that when a true cobra hoods up, it kind of moves its body more vertically. It holds its body up to also look more threatening. When a false water cobra hoods up, it keeps its body more horizontally oriented. It just kind of eh, slightly lifts its head up. Not very much though. So just look at you, oh my goodness. Look at those huge head scales too. They have like ginormous scales on their head and over their whole bodies too. You don't really notice how big their scales are over their bodies until they get a bit older. But even on a baby here, I mean, those are, those are big scales. So they are really, truly an amazing species. They are a tropical species. So they do need, again, a large water dish and they need tropical substrate. So we're going to keep these paper towels moist until probably pretty soon. Actually, we're going to move them to more of a tropical tropical bedding. So they'll only be on the paper towels uh, temporarily. Oh, oh, and we have one hooding up. Oh, now that I put you in your baby bin, you're all scary, huh? Yeah, look at you. So scary. Oh, you are scaring everyone away with that hood, aren't you? Oh, you're so intimidating. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I'm gonna put you back. I'm gonna put the baby in here and we'll put the rest in. And baby number six. Six. There we go. We have our clutch of false water covers. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. Well, I guess we'll put these in the baby rack and you know what? Let's end this video with mom. Here's the proud mother. This is Jessica who we raised from a baby and now the cycle is complete. We have babies from you. You are such a pretty girl. You did a good job, mama. You laid some beautiful eggs and they hatched into beautiful babies. And now, in case you don't remember, our deal to ourselves was if we can breed false water cobras, the normal wild type coloration, we can get lavender false water cobras. So we did it. Proof. Proof, Ed, we bred false water cobras, so now we can get lavenders. So if anybody sees any listings for lavenders or het lavender false water cobras, we need, we definitely need some because I loved breeding this species. It was so exciting and they're just amazing snakes. Dude, like this is a, this is a, not a beefy snake, just a robust, like a well-built snake, if that makes sense. And they're just so inquisitive and the babies are surprisingly handleable right out of the egg, like a little bit of hooding, but really not too bad. So we might be keeping one of their babies just for fun, but I don't think we're gonna be keeping all of them. So, oh my gosh, I still can't believe it. Jessica, we had babies. You're a breeder now, oh my goodness. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed Baby Falls Water Cobras as much as we do. Thank you Patreon backers for your amazing support and I'm gonna go play with the babies some more. So um, I'll leave you with, I'll leave you with this distraction while I go play with with a uh, baby baby snakes can you find the brown anole good luck